All right, ladies and gentlemen, today and tomorrow only, 15% off on Monday Drunk Shirts. Go to our website, number6withcheese.com. Take advantage of this sale before it ends, today and tomorrow only. Today on Number 6 With Cheese, we're going local. We're going to Milt's Barbecue for the Perplexed. If that's not the best restaurant name you've ever heard, you're lying to yourself. Uh, so today, uh, we're headed east. I think it's on Belmont, right? No, 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 it's on Broadway. It's on Broadway, I was definitely right. <laughs> um, and uh, so Corey's getting a brisket burger, and I'm getting the Nashville uh, hot fried chicken sandwich. So uh, come with us as we explore a new barbecue spot we've never been. See you soon. All right, Sixers, two different sandwiches from Milt's Acquired Jump Cut. All right, we're busting out the lights. We got the Corey Wagner second angle on his sandwich. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so that's actually a really good looking bun. Holy Christ. A uh, lot of the crispy onion straws. And then this beef right here is ground beef and brisket. And then there's barbecue sauce that so you really can't see much of. It's under the onion straws. That's on that. And I think that might be it. I don't think there's... It looks really good. Oh my God, look at those grill lines. Yeah, and they got the actual grill marks. Wow, wow that looks that fantastic. Look really nice selection. Good. This is the uh, Nashville hot chicken sandwich, 75 pickles. <laughs> and then, yeah, look at all that drippage right there. I mean, and then you got coleslaw on the sandwich too. So, um, I mean, you get it. Same kind of bun as Corey's. That looks just really good. All right, everybody's a Patreon, listen up. If you're not a Patreon, you might as well just skip forward a few seconds. Tonight, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, we're doing a hangout on a Zoom call, all Patreons, $10 and up. Yep. We're gonna, just like last month, super fun. We're gonna get on there and just kind of kick it, have some drinks, and uh, yeah, it should be a fun time. Back to the food. All right, Milts, Broadway, couple of Sandos. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh man. My meat's really good. I don't think I care for this bun as much. I think it looks good. It's almost too thick for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of critical. Okay, I'm gonna say the good things first. The chicken, the pickles, and the coleslaw are so good. Mm -hmm. Good heat. This is one of the worst buns I've ever mm -hmm. had. It is so big and like dense. Yeah, it's taking up too much of the show. I want, I just, so you can understand. Come here, Mr. Light. Let me how to do this. Look how much of it is bread and how much of it is, it's really hard to do at night. <laughs> and also it's like, it's hard to tell because sometimes you can have buns this thick that aren't as They're like airy. dense. Right. Like this is, it's it's taken up too much of the palate. Man, this bun is a rock. But this meat is fire, dude. Oh my God, the chicken is so good. All they gotta do is swap the bun out. And this is instantly, probably two points higher. It reminds me of the pretzel bun because it looks dope. Mm -hmm. It's good to look at, but man, it just it makes the food worse in my opinion. I'm gonna do the the bun peel. I was about to say, I'm gonna do the Cory Wagner bun peel because you just don't, I don't want 250 calories of just bread. The chicken and the pickles and the coleslaw though, so good. Milts, nice shot there. Mm-hmm. That's one of the most pointless buns I've ever seen. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't care for that bun. I can't get over that. Mm, bro, half bris brisket. That's that gonna be the fire. Yeah, that's an incredible combo. Mm. How many times have I walked by this place and never even like, but he's got, this had to have been here forever. Yeah, as far as I can think back. Yeah. Once I found out the name, I never forgot about this place. I mean, Mills Barbecue for the Perplexed. Right. Such a legendary name. Right next to a vet care clinic. Oh yeah, they kill your dogs there if it's uh, if it's not doing so hot. Oh, perfect. Do you know they do that to dogs, bro? <laughs> if your dog's like a little bit sick. They just kill them? Yeah, if it's bummed out, like my dog was like shaking sometimes and it was, I'd wake up from its sleep and be shaking. Right. And we're like, what can you do about it? And they're like, Kill it and kill it. I was like, you. what? Bro, Joe, it's no. not even we'll like the average you. life expectancy is like 75, 80 now. And they're like, bro, that's for humans. Dogs don't make it nearly that long. And I was like, damn, bro, I didn't even sign up for all this. How much does it cost to kill your dog? I, I have no idea. Um, like, what am I going to be paying in a couple of years? Well, it, the thing is, is it does cost some money. Right. But what you don't realize is that you get out of it 
uh, bag of sand. Oh, they give you a little bag of sand on your yeah, way out? Yeah. That's nice. I am such a disgusting monster right now. I'm peeling the chicken out of this sandwich and just eating the chicken. Yeah, yeah. That's how much I'm mad at the bun. Bro, I gotta tell you, this meat fire, this barbecue sauce fire, this bun literally like ruined it for me. Like I don't even want to eat anymore. I could not agree more. <laughs> Which is crazy because like normally like you're kind of the bread police on this show. And but I'm right there with you today. I, I got I'm the we're the boys in blue. I strapped it on today too. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I totally agree though. Look at this. I look I'm, like a bird. Yeah. I'm usually the big anti-breader. And uh, today you've joined my forces, and I yeah. think we make a formidable team against bread. You go around the city and you you project your anti-bread uh, rhetoric propaganda yeah. on, the, on the Chicago world. I do. And I'm sitting here going, shut up and get over it. Today, I got the badge on, my friends. That's right. Suit them up. It's even to the point where you told me you were going to try to bring, you love bread so much usually. Just earlier today, you told me you were going to bring me some bread. You said you were going to bring me a pack of buns. And what did I tell you? I hate bread so much, I'm going to throw it straight in the trash. Yeah, and let me one-up you there. You said, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to throw it away in front of you. Like, <laughs> you're going to make eye contact with me. I told him I found these awesome brioche buns at Aldi, and he goes, don't bring me those don't mess buns. With no bread. That's how much he doesn't want the bread. I don't mess with no bread. But you guys, I found great buns at Aldi. They're the, the goat now. The goat. <laughs> goat buns. Mm -hmm. Dude, we gotta actually, we should be sharing that. What is what are, what are they called? I don't know because I'm not that into it, but I've got them at home. I can send a photo. Send a photo. Mill, if you're watching this, bro, check yeah. out, check out. That's what Sean yeah. does. <clears throat> it, dude, go to no, Aldi. I just took it off the screen because mine oh, put it on the screen. Go, go. Stop it! <laughs> Mill, get these buns. You guys are weird. I'm pissed off. Yeah, dude, I that was is a so bit looking forward to that. That sandwich was sixteen dollars, man. Oh yeah, this burger was twenty-two bucks, <laughs> and I don't even really care for it. I like the people that have been getting like verbally upset uh, at these prices. They're like, "You guys, if you don't get a cheaper sandwich, I'm stopping watching, dude." Yeah, dude. Like I get it. That is crazy to think of, but you know why we're so mad? Because it had such good potential. Well, it's everything about it was perfect, but if one thing is wrong, when you mess the bun up. The whole, I mean, the bun is holding it all together. It's everything. You can't, that's like the nucleus. I, everybody thinks it's the protein. No, the bun needs to be, like, it needs to do its job, dude. Get a job, bun. In the YouTube world, this is only a joke for Sean because it's only for people who care about <laughs> video and audio, which clearly none of our, we don't have fans, we're like video fans. Nobody comments about the cinematography. No, they don't no give cares a crap. About that. This is this bun is basically like the YouTube version of having bad audio, but an awesome concept or visuals. This is like it ruins if, it. This is like if during this video the microphone was half unplugged. Yeah. that's what happened to this sandwich. The microphone jack was a little jacked up, if you will. Joke for just me and you. That's all. That's my first. See, it's time. You know why? Because in a full year, I haven't had physical contact besides <laughs> yeah, for only dude. my girlfriend. Like, how do we do that? I have, that, was, that skin I put my weird. hand on you. Almost put your dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, before we go ahead and, whew, man, I'm nervous. Before we rate that, let's go ahead and do a shout out. Cameo shout out, cameo shout out, cameo shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on Cameo. If you want to check it out, it's pretty awesome. Go to cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese. It's a website where your favorite creators, musicians, and artists will give you a direct shout out. If you want examples of what that could be, well, you could ask for an abortion announcement. We'll give that. Mm -hmm. You could ask for, well, as long as we're talking about it, Hey, I gotta put my son's dog to sleep. Can you can you tell him in a nice and friendly and maybe comedic and humorous way? Mm -hmm. We got you, bro. Mm -hmm. You what was your favorite one? I want someone to do a, uh, a anti-abortion. I'm keeping it. Oh. I, want, I want the girl to have us tell the guy, "Sorry, Scott, I'm, I'm keeping I'm it. I'm keeping it, baby." And so, when it finally happens, I'm Venmoing that person $19. There back. you go. So if you got if if you're pregnant and having a difficult time explaining it to the person you one night hooked up with, we'll do the dirty work for you. Mm -hmm. Cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese. And we recently had a request, so we're going to put that on the screen right here, right now. So we have a birthday announcement for a fan, but we don't want to spoil their birthday because this video will be coming out weeks before. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to do this off camera. Um, I'll just blur us out and have some light mel uh, melodic tunes playing. Oh, that's right. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Can I do it? Yeah. <laughs>
Well, I hope you enjoyed those fine, lovely, melodic tunes from our good friend and your current soulmate, Dinotron. Back to the regular scheduled programming. All right, uh, cameo done, that was super fun. And now we're gonna rate uh, those sandwiches. If you're scared of mommy and daddy getting into a fight at the dinner table, I'd tune out now. Um, out of five, whew, out of five meat grinders, how many meat grinders do you give the uh, brisket uh, burger you had for like $40, $22 today, Corey? Man, I'll tell you what, boy am I disappointed. And not only because that bun was trash, but also because this is a lesson in trusting and loving and learning from your friends. My good friend Larry told me that this place was not worth the money. And I just oh. bypassed him and went ahead and said, nah, I'm gonna try it, that burger sounds dope. And Larry, I gotta tell you, I know you're probably not watching this, but you're 100% right, good sir. This was not worth the $22. Of all the people to not trust, Larry would be the guy you always trust. He's like so good. Yeah, but he also told me the other day that we needed to try the um, uh, Lafayette hot dog Detroit style pizza, which isn't even a real thing. So sometimes you <laughs> oh, just that don't just know what- triggered me, boy. What's just coming, he's just got, <laughs> kind of had to ask me, bro, I thought Lafayette was that hot dog place. They, don't, they got a hot dog, Pizza? I go, no, Larry lies constantly to make you look like a fool. <laughs> it worked. Oh, wow. So, uh, you know, the, we said it, the, the meat was awesome. Those French, dude, I slammed all these French fries off screen and they were fire, dude. These are like my favorite French fries I've had at a restaurant in a while. I love onion strings, I love the barbecue sauce, but that bun straight up worried, uh, just went and wrecked it for me. It kind of reminded me of like, this was a big old fat effing Joey freaking Harrington getting thrown in my lap, <laughs> dude. This was something that I had such huge expectations for <laughs> that just ended up being a pile of trash that got me a whole lot of nothing. Can you tell we grew up as Lions fans? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I mean, that all being said, I'm a, what are we doing? Is that a meat grinder? Out of five meat grinders. I'm gonna give this, I mean, it, it's better if I didn't have expectations and what I'm about to score it. This yeah. is a big part of this is the expectations were piss poor, but I'm gonna give this a, uh, uh, I'm gonna give this a, just a flat out 2.5. I don't, like it's not a clap or it's that's a double finger bang. Oh, um, I'm gonna be way harsher, man. Yeah, I mean you have every right to be. The man, so like the chicken and the coleslaw and the pickles were be good, but the bun was so bad that it made me not like those things either. Like I'm like triggered right now. Yeah, dude. Because and the thing is, is it's such an easy fix. Uh -huh. Getting a new bun is next day they could serve it back. Right. Like that is an in, so that's a good thing for them. That it is that and if they see this, there's no way we're the only two people that think this. No, they're just not hearing it. No one's got the balls to say it to a camera and not go say it to their face. You We've know? done 1,200 basically sandwich reviews. <laughs> we yep. know what makes a good sandwich. I am going point. Five. Wow. Have you ever seen? <laughs> Have you ever seen me? Oh, I'm so mad. Like I'm just so bummed. I wanted that to be good. You ever had like in high school a dope group of friends and stuff, and you stopped hanging out with them because they had one friend in their group that you didn't like? Yes. That's basically what just happened. Like I like all the rest of you, but I like you a little bit less right now because yeah. of Jimmy. Yeah. That kid uh, sucks. Jimmy sucked, dude. He was awful. <laughs> um, man, let us know if you guys have ever had milts. And if you've had a sandwich, to me that was like worse than TGI Fridays, or like a, or like a Bennigan sandwich. Yeah, and it didn't have to be. No, well of course it didn't have to be. It's a local place. Um, whatever. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Back on the couch, eating and drinking, enjoying the end of the week. We'll see you then. Don't forget about the live hangout tonight. Don't forget about going and getting your Monday drunk. Yeah, 15% off this shirt uh, until the end of tomorrow. Correct. Well, that's a good name for a movie. That would be like the next Bond movie. The end of tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa, dude, that's sick. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't eat here. <laughs>